Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a production tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can layer noise to kind of bring out elements of the mix. And in this example, we're gonna be looking at it on a lead synth sound. So I have a little uh, project going here. It's for some sound design stuff. And I have a lead track right here in purple. I have the basses down here in the red and the green. And then I have the drum groove down here. So there are a lot of ways as producers or mix engineers, we try to emphasize the important elements in a mix. One of which is obviously EQ, another is compression, panning, etc. Well, when you do those things and you're still just not having the oomph you want, sometimes you can layer a tick sound or a just a really quick transient type of attack sound to the main sound that you're trying to emphasize in the mix. Now this is obviously going to be more of like an EDM production in this video, but this also works for other genres of music. I've actually used this on electric guitar a couple times, like with power chords and that sort of stuff in a mix perspective, and it did work really well. So what we have here, uh, let's just play this demo, and then we're going to duplicate a track in Serum. You don't have to use Serum, you can use anything you're comfortable with, but we're going to look at how this layering, this tick sound makes this lead pop out of the mix more. All right, so now this specific sound is coming from Serum, and I like using Serum for this just because there's all the different noise samples that you can really uh, play around with. There's You can do custom noises, there's a lot of attacks sound, right? So see where it says right here, attacks miscellaneous. So again, I wanna reiterate, you do not have to use Serum, you can use audio, you can use any sampler that you're comfortable using. Just find a method that you're comfortable with, basically. All right, so here's the sound. It's one oscillator, and the noise actually is one of the main oscillators in this specific sound. I like the sound. I like how it sounds, how it feels in the mix, but it's not coming out enough. So what some people will do is they'll put like an envelope. This is another thing that a lot of people do. They'll put an envelope, a short envelope on like the pitch modulation, maybe coarse or fine even, and pitch it way up and have a really short decay. Hardly any sustain and release on the sound, and it adds this little... To it well we can get more creative with it by messing around with these different noise samples in this tax miscellaneous folder and this is a quick side note this is something we do instinctively or we look for instinctively with good kick samples so if you listen to any kick sound uh sometimes if it's just not cutting the mix it, it might be because it doesn't have enough of a what's called a kick tick in it it's this tick sound at the beginning of the attack right when the right when the sound begins basically that really helps it pop through the mix because it's a high frequency sound and it's not just low frequency so it doesn't get lost with bass and other elements. All right, so what I'm gonna do here in this in this sound, that's the sound that we used in the actual lead sound. So I'm gonna turn off the oscillators here and let's actually turn off the filter as well. And I don't want to have, to, I don't want to have effects on it like delay and reverb for the most part. So now we just have this. Okay, so I just turned off one, of the, I turned off the main oscillator so that's just coming from the, the noise. Now let's go to the attacks miscellaneous. And let's choose, let's try a weird one, glass lid. Sure, let's try that. Okay, now I have the pitch tracking on. That's one reason why I really like using Serum for this. Because when you have pitch tracking on in a synth or in a noise sample inside of Serum, it's gonna track the pitch and you can actually hear, it's really quiet, let me turn this up. It's basically playing the melody or almost. So that's really cool, it's not just a static noise. So let's try it with the glass lid. Now let's bring back in the lead and listen. All right, so just layering those two together, I really like how that glass lid sound is blending with the lead. There it is, off. And on. Now, it's cool that it has its own pitch and its own tone, and it's cool that it actually just isn't an envelope pitching up. We can choose one more, see how this works. Let's try, uh, let's try a, a guitar smack. So let me solo this to see what it sounds like. So 
So I pitched it down an octave. It's kind of cool. On its own, it's going to sound a little bit weird. Let's turn it down a little. Again, that would sound pretty cool in the mix. So there you guys go. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Sourix. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.